This alcoholic over here can't do a show without drinking beer. No, uh, it's just it's been a long time since I had a beer, and I feel like, you know what? It's Friday night. It's a good time to have a beer. It's Friday Tool Talk. Exactly. Uh, all right, you guys, don't forget, we are sponsored by Bosch. We want you to click that link below. We want you to go there and hopefully win this truck, and you can win some other prizes, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. You just got to follow follow the instructions. It's all over there. Um, what else were we talking about? Shout-outs, you guys know. So if we shout-out your name on the show, email us. Eric will send you some stickers. It might take a month or two. And we also want you guys to show off your stickers. Send pictures yeah. back. Cody, we saw No, no, no. His. Don't send them to us because we want everyone to see it. Go to the Power Tool Forum, post it in there because so everyone well, can see it. What if they're not a Power Tool Forum member? If you're Facebook or Twitter, you can go to the Power Tool Forum and you can sign on using your um, ID from Facebook or Twitter. Right, and we will have, you guys, a sticker competition. So the okay. person that puts the best stickers so Man, look at our, our cameras got stickers all over it. I know. This but, guy's... You, you know why we don't have any more stickers? Because this guy has stuck them on everything. We're getting orange ones, too. As soon as we get some money, we're Once on we a budget money. now. We can't run up He was all mad at me today because he's on a budget. He's like, ah, oh, someone put me on a budget. I can't get this, this, or this. Yeah, he's like, did you get new batteries for the camera? What brand did you get? Like, I got Amazon generic because I'm on a budget now. <laughs> I can't, you know? It's like before it was carte blanche, credit card. Now it's like, how much can I spend on, you know, what, what did we recently get? Knowing you, you probably got a lot of different things. Oh, yeah, we had to get a pump hose, a oh, strainer, yeah. and the batteries. And he's like, your budget is $100. I'm like, what? That was horrible, man. That was oh. horrible. But whatever, I got to be on a budget. We got to be constrained, so. Hey, we got to do what we got to do. That's okay. But anyways, we're going to have, uh, you know, post it on Facebook and then throughout the system. if we That's our tool form. And the power tool for If we see a sticker we like, we might send you a free tool or something. All right, back to uh, back to, back to reality. All right, last week we talked about China and all that stuff. We're yep. gonna kind of just lay low a little bit on that and just not give so much everybody so much grief because it's everything's not giving anybody every, grief. everything's made in China. I know, but yeah. I don't want to distract. Way, it was not an issue about that. It was just the, it's the way life is now, unfortunately. All right, thank you. All right. Swag off road. You guys may have seen them. Uh, actually, Cody alerted us to, to this. It turns your portable bandsaw into a table. A, a corded one. I thought it had to be a corded. Oh yeah, Por well, a corded, ported, ported. corded, corded okay. portable okay. bandsaw into a table bandsaw. It's really cool, you guys. We got a review coming up on it. I'll probably show you a picture right now. It's one of my favorite things of the week. Yeah, it actually is. It is cool. I went over to Dan's and saw it. It's amazing I was able to see it through all the junk you had in your garage, but... I know. Actually, remember how I told you we were going to bring it over here and redo the video? We're yeah. keeping that one. Okay. All right. Good. So if you watch that video, you're not going to be able to really see it because he's got so much junk there, but... No, it whatever. was funny. It's cool. I thought it was funny. It was cool. Um, What else in tool news, Eric? In tool news, I'm going to have some shout-outs in a little bit, but okay. go ahead. Uh, 5 batteries from DeWalt we saw on Tool Guide. Yeah, and I think Bosch is. Didn't Bosch announce they're coming out with five? Bosch too? announced them. Metabo has five point three, I believe. But that's only in Europe, though, right? Y yeah, I mean, what's next? Six oh seven oh. I mean, how well, high yeah, can they go it goes, with it? it goes well, no, but how high right can down. they go with that? Well, I you mean, know, I, I mean, don't what, know. imagine if you had like a thirty o pack. Man, the thing's gonna last you like two weeks. Uh, you know what? Someday they will. Because think about it: as battery technology gets better and smaller, and you don't have to worry about the heat, you can probably put more juice in it. That, yeah. Wow, man, you should be one of those scientists in those lab coats. That's all I know. Other than that, I'd be standing in the corner and they'd fire me after two minutes. Yeah, right. That'd be crazy. They'd get a smoking monkey that would do better than I would over there. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, do you do some shout outs? Come on. First, I want to do a shout out to Tara Griffin and Trevor. I also want to do a shout out to DR99 and Conductor. You guys have done awesome on the forum. Thanks for everything. Thanks for making it a great place. Um, I got a bunch of shout outs. I'm just going to kind of go through some now and some later on. Uh, KRK. Uh, he's a railroader by trade. Uh, he's oh, on the so form. it's conductor. Conductor, so it's yeah. So I'm sure they'll. You know what? You know. That's actually a cool job. I'd like to do oh, something like that. That'd be awesome. I've always wanted to like hook up with the train guys and just take a trip from like here to the Rocky. Oh my gosh. I actually applied a long time ago for a job for it was for uh, I think it was Union Pacific. Um, it would be from Chicago to. Yeah, like, but you have to have a brain. Somewhere. No, no, I wouldn't be driving the train. I'd uh, be the you still you sit in the front. I forget what they're called, but I'd be you'd be in charge of the whole the caboose guy. Yeah, but they don't have cabooses anymore. No, they have little red us. lights. You know, that's weird. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you need a caboose because the caboose guy's got to be like, hey man, you got a brake leaking back here or something. I think bad all with the electronics, I'm sure it tells you. Yeah, but or now they have drones. They can just throw a drone out the window and fly the length of the train. That'd be pretty cool. 
That would be cool, but I mean, if it's, it, yeah. Why not? Uh, right. Kevin, he's from California, loves DeWalt, but prefers Mo, uh, Makita tools, which is cool. He's on the forum. That's awesome. We like to have different people and all that, so I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Fazman, uh, he's a machinist. Welcome. All three of you, welcome to Tools in Action uh, Tool Forum. And then I'm going to do my, the rest of my shout outs later on because one is show off your box and one is show off your work. And man, I don't know if you guys have been there. No, you you say that. What? But look at what these guys <laughs> have nothing. done. Well, you do nothing. the jerking motion with your hand, which you're good at, but it's <laughs> you got to see what these guys actually do. Okay, he may not like well, it and no. appreciate what you guys do, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you know, it what takes you guys a lot do. Of talent. We're just trying to do, you know, shout outs. Well, we are. I know, but you got to like just make it elaborate and this and that. When someone puts that much time and effort into work and you see what they can actually do just with their hands and tools, it's amazing. I think that's cool. Oh, no, I didn't know they did that. What the hell did you think I was talking well, about? Well, I wasn't listening to what you were saying. Oh. Okay, what else you got? Um, do you want me to just do the rest of the shout outs or no? How many you got? 75. No, how many you got ready? Right there. Oh, here, go for it. All right, conductor's showing off his toolbox. Very cool. Silverado 79 did a video on it. He's got a lot of tools thanks to the video and everything like that. And uh, how do you pronounce that? Though, though, new, though, new. Yeah, he's got lots of tools. He's the guy I was talking about. Uh, we did a video climb. T H O E. T H O E N E W. Um, did a lot of, uh, we just did the clients. He was talking about how he's got clients in his tool bag. Brian, uh, great job on the basement project. That's awesome. He showed it from the, actually the start to the Brian finish. Brian or Breen? Is that, I'm sorry, Breen. Is I that guess Breen? Breen? That's how he's spelling no, it. No, he, you know what? Breen, Brian, he did come in and say how to do it one time. How to say it. He right? probably did. I'm so, obviously so you guys dumb. can see that so, I'm real And I apologize to anybody that's emailed us this week. We've been so behind. More week has like burnt us yeah. out. Go ahead. Uh, Skyler 87, a homemade forge. Uh, wow. You got to see that. It's, it's, it's cool. It's really cool. I mean, all this stuff is. Uh, Frame 20 has been doing some pavilion doors. Very cool looking. And then, now they're all cool and all that, but Mustang 347, he made a homemade barbecue uh, drum. You got to check this wow, out. Wow, that is cool. I love things like that. And then he shows a big piece of meat on there. I was like, oh, I'm hungry for some meat. But, Shh. man, it's just, I mean, it's stuff like that that's just, I don't know. It's, it's cool. All right, I'm sorry to go on my tangent, guys, but go ahead. No, that's okay. About? That's okay. Talking about meat, have you guys ever heard of Dillo Dust? Ugh. Dillo dust. Mm -hmm. If you order from LaRue Tactical, you get that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, LaRue's got some good stuff. Plus, you get a lot of other stuff. You get stickers. You get they a, send you a, a constitution, constitution of the United States. Pretty cool stuff. So, LaRue just remember, you can't have the First Amendment without the Second Amendment. Okay, thank you. Hey, Eric. that's true. Tony Buddy, one, two, three, Patriot 36, Kelly Church, Matthew Lingram, and Louis Thespic. You all get the stickers. And Louis, I know we gave you stickers before, but we'll do it again. We did? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm almost positive. Oh, if my not, God. He's getting them again. No, then Either way, get, you're getting them. Then you're not getting any you're more getting stickers. Them. You're not getting any more. Don't even try. It doesn't matter. He's not in charge of it. Just go to social at toolsandaction.com, send it. I'm the one who sends them out. I'm the one who's got to write everything up. So do it, and you'll get stickers. All right. Craven of Spider. Arts Garage, Ray's Brown, Ray Brown, Chris K, Richard Fox, Sam Steets, Chandler Funk, Jimmy Joe NG, Matt Ostrowski, uh, and check this out, you guys. Someone posted this on Facebook. Jeez, how many names do you have? Do you know it costs us almost a buck fifty to send off stickers? It doesn't cost me. Uh, yeah, that's true. Jimmy Joe, no, not Jimmy Joe, Jono Keoen or whatever. Check this out. I'm posting it right now. He painted his tractor Dewalt. Did it really? Dude, and it looks awesome. Wow. It looks awesome. It actually looks like he used some kind of like uh, Linex or something on it. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. It's pretty cool. But anyways, you know, that's someone that really likes DeWalt tools, you know? Well, I mean, obviously. And everybody likes their brand. I know Milwaukee a few years back had some tattoo contests. I, mean, I don't know if I would tattoo a brand on me. Yeah, I don't but, know about that. you know, you guys, we love that stuff. Send us that stuff. You know, we're going to try to be this huge community and, uh, you know, spread the... Love. The love. Well, no, now I will show it. His tractor just got shown on the tool show. Yeah, how cool is that? It's very cool. It's very cool. Uh, back to tool news. Uh, Milwaukee Fuel came out with a bandsaw. Yeah, which looks pretty cool. It's an M18. Obviously, it's, it's fuel. It's M18. Deep cut. Deep cut. So that looks cool. What else you got? Um, well, we talked about show your stickers. The pipe in the truck. Do we uh, want to talk about that? We go to Home Depot. We got to get a pipe because we got a pump uh, review coming up. Um, so when we got the pump, they didn't have any the accessories with it, so we went and bought it ourselves. He's got a pickup truck, 
So we got this long 10 foot, P uh, it's two inch PVC pipe. <clears throat> so instead of putting it in the back, like just in your bed, we got to open up the window and drive like a bunch of hillbillies with it sticking all the way in the front and sticking all the way out back. And I told him at a store, let's just cut it in half. He's like, nah, we don't have to cut it in half. Because you have a truck. Well, you, you stick it in the back of the truck, stuff big in deal the truck. if it hangs out a little bit. Yeah. Um, check this out, So we're guys. driving around town for what, like an hour with this thing hanging all around. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was cool, though. We got it home. But, all right, we got it home. All right, check this out. Uh, a couple things. Check this picture out right here. Wow. I was actually out at the marina, and they were working on a boat, and they're like, man, we need a multimeter or voltmeter or whatever. And I just happened to have the MM500. Sweet. With my truck. And I love that thing. Out? Pretty good. They loved it. It was like. What were they testing? What were they doing? Uh, the engine wasn't starting, so they were testing like continuity or something on the starter motor. Okay. Um, Javier, Porter Cable, eight volt. He just did the video. We'd like to shout out to him. Thank you, dude. That's an awesome video. Uh, if you don't know Javier, check out his channel, Tool Crazy. You yep. can just search. He's got it. a lot of good videos. Does really in-depth stuff. If you really want to know your tools and stuff, don't go to Tools in Action. Check them out. They've got their stuff. He's yeah, got stuff he made there. me laugh in one video because he was like. I don't know. Here's the stuff. He's like, whoa! It's funny. I don't know. I think he uses a green screen or something, though. I don't know. Javier, let us know, because in your last video, he, like, disappeared at the end. And the April, he disappeared at the end. But it's like, how could he? I it's don't like know. magic. I don't know if he's using a green screen. If it is, that's a good green screen or something. Well, actually, you know what? His wall Better is green. Better than ours. His wall's green. Yeah. He could probably just be chroma keying that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what chrome key is, but whatever. I know you don't know you don't know any of that. Uh, Vols. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Vols. Do you know what a vol is? A vol? A vol. No, what's a vol? All right, check it out, you guys. So I'm out with the Raven, and actually, remember when I was bitching at you? Oh yeah. Oh, oh. a mole? A vol. V O L E. I oh. never even heard of him till today, yesterday. But I was out with the Raven, and it wouldn't mow, and I'm like, oh my god, it's broken. I can't believe this. Da da da. So then I'm going crazy, wasn't I? That oh, yeah. day, just yep. trying to get this thing to work, and it was totally my fault because it wasn't. In, it was in high gear. <laughs> so as soon as you should, okay, I gotta back up. I came over to his house the other day to do videos for about an hour and a half. When he gets caught on a subject, he doesn't just let stuff go. It was over and over again. Oh, I gotta charge this thing. He goes, this thing's not working, and it was constantly. We're trying to do other things, and I heard all about it, man. Yeah. So, so you did get it. It's gone now. It was yeah. just because it was in high. It was my fault because it was in high gear. I totally <laughs> forgot. Well, I realized that as I started driving my neighbor, I'm like, man, this thing hauls low. I'm like, oh my god, it's not in low, duh. So I pull over and clicked it on and worked like a charm. So, yeah. Well, anyways, it started mowing and uh, the raven. Raven's really powerful. So I went through my front garden with it. The, the he's got a lot of high weeds and swamp bushes grass. And stuff. Yeah. Yes. And you oh, know how you're supposed to cut that stuff down. So I'm like, you know what? Why? Was, so it, it regrows. Nice. Oh, well, that, they okay. burn it around here. Oh. So I am decided to go through it with the raven. So I go through it with the raven. The raven just chops it up all through. All of a sudden, I see like these little gray things running around. I'm like, what the heck is that? I thought it was a field mouse. I'm like, oh, my God. I literally chopped through uh, a nest of theirs, okay? Cool. So Congratulations. Like, no, I felt really bad, you guys. I felt really bad. But then I went on the Internet, and I looked it up. They're called voles, and uh, they're like little like field mice kind of. And uh, they can really do some damage. Because remember when the, the, the spring came? And I'm like, my God, look what the snow did to my yard. It looks like crap. What well, was the voles going underground and making trails and eating all the stuff? Hmm. So I actually have to get rid of them. Hopefully I do. You get enough hawks around there, they'll come and take care of that. I don't know, man. They're hiding in like a front corner where the Or hawks... your AR-15 just get, get <laughs> yeah. out there well, and start I'll shoot myself in the foot. I'll shoot myself in the foot with that thing. Um, but I think that's about it, Eric. That's all. Do you want to wrap up more week? Talk about more week, or we don't? Are we done with more? Yeah, let's wrap up more week. So more week, you guys saw. We're kind of getting your feedback. Everybody seems to like the uh, Husqvarna, the Raven, and the uh, ego. ego. Everybody went crazy over the ego, and I have to put it too. Out of from looks, the ego does look the best. I mean, oh, yeah. whoever marketed and did the ego definitely designed it. Yeah, it looks definitely did a good job. Oh, they did a great job. It looks nice. The f I mean, looks cool. And it feels I love how quality. The yeah, oh, compared to the other ones, definitely. Right. I love how it folds up. I'm not going to hang it on the wall, but you can hang it on the wall. Um, it's just, it's right. nice. Plus, it was the only one with the side discharge. Not that I use a side discharge, but some people like that look or what I want that. Correct. And the only thing that, you know, uh, is going to kill the Ego is if the battery sucks. Yeah, but I believe they got a three-year warranty on it, which is good. But again, yeah, you're right. It, it is because... There's no experience. There's no long term with the batteries. Right. I mean, we, we think it'll be okay, but you know, you never know. So we're gonna find out. We'll obviously we'll do another review back on that. And the same with the other ones. What I liked about the uh, 
the the cobalt and the green works was that they dialed the power down. Yeah, that is cool. You're right. That's the ego would yeah. be cool if it did that dial down That's to half cool. until you need it. Yeah. Um, and then went up, but <clears throat> those are pretty cool mowers. The uh, Raven was pretty cool. The Raven, I just, you know, I like the Raven. I still got a, just more long term on it because I love the idea of it. I think it's cool and all that, but... I don't know. Still, something like that. I like to see long term. Right. Well, yeah. Obviously, that's the only downfall to the Raven is what is it? Well, it's not even a downfall, but is it going to last long term? But you guys, we beat it, and it's been working perfect, flawlessly. Like I said the other day, I was scratching my head. I thought it actually broke, and it was my fault because I didn't have it in low gear to mow with. How many stickers do you have on that thing? Have you put stickers on that? I, I yeah, know. I three. Should even ask. Three. Oh, that's it, huh? Yeah. Wow. Just three stickers. Hey, it's the tools in action, Raven. Everybody loves that thing. Uh, and then we had the Husqvarna Articulating Rider, with, which a couple of you guys commented on. Uh, that's definitely a nice rider. Uh, you know, it's up to you guys whether you like that style or not. To me, I don't know if I like zero turns or articulated riders. I'm kind of in between. I like to have the zero turn, the articulating, and a four wheel, like four wheel steering. What, what do you mean? Oh, all in a row? Well, just to try the them test. out. So you can well, get yeah, one off, them. and then you can get on the other one, and then you can just, you know, so you can try them right away. Yeah. Because I remember the zero turns from last year, and I thought those were really cool. Yeah, zero turns are great. Zero turns, you know, they do, but, they hey, just, they're you have they're to know. They're just a little, Right, I don't know, and you have something. to know how to operate them, otherwise you're going to damage your yard. This articulating rider was just, it was so tight, man. It was amazing. And it would just keep that corner, you know? Sometimes when you're curving around stuff, you know, the deck goes over the weeds or yeah, it goes yeah. over something, yeah. you know, something. This thing was just like, as soon as you put it over, into that turn. Over voles. Over voles. As soon as you put it in that turn, man, it locked and kept that circle, which I liked a lot. That's good. I just thought that thing was pretty cool. But mower week was pretty cool, you guys. We do have some more mower stuff coming up in the next few weeks. We just kind of wanted to get it all to you just to take advantage of the traffic season. And, you know, everybody's looking for mowers right now. So we know you guys are. I mean, I'm freezing my butt off here. Right. Well, yeah, I think with all that fat in that jacket. Oh, maybe oh man, I totally even forgot I have a heated jacket yeah. on. You probably don't have a battery in there, do you? I can no. Get, I can get you one. Someone I do. Near whining. I do, but it's dead. <laughs> can you believe that? Yeah, actually I can because Dan's come over here to do videos. He lives, what are you, about 20 minutes away, 25 minutes away from me? Yeah, or do you have to turn it on? I don't know. He's on about 20, 25 minutes away and he comes over and the... Camera we use takes a special battery. You can't just pick it up at like the local store. It comes over and they're dead, or the microphone batteries are dead, or so. Yes, I do believe that. All right, crazy. We're gonna wrap this up. It's kind of got long. Uh, hopefully, you guys like this episode of uh, Tool Talk. Yeah. And you know what? Here, back up a little bit because you know what? Tool Talk's actually taken. By who? I did an internet search for Tool Talk, and uh, um, but it's not like it's we're trademarking no, who's or those doing guys? anything. We're just calling. Come on, who's Sean? Uh, oh, oh, I didn't know Sean's got that. Yeah. No, wow. come on. You guys know. The, who did Stuart used to write for? Toolmonger? Toolmonger. Toolmonger used to have a tool talk every, like, week or something. So oh. if we're, for some reason, infringing on his stuff, I mean, they haven't posted it in a long time. So well, I don't, I don't think you're infringing because we're not actually naming it. We don't have, it's not like we're copywriting. Or no, I know, but like I don't that. like to copy people. So if he, you know, well, I don't Sean either. or whatever, if you have a problem with it, dude, we'll change it. It's no big deal. There you go, Sean. We'll change it to Tool Talkie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tool Talkie. Tool Talkie. All right, hopefully you guys liked it. We're informed. We gave a lot of stickers away this time. Oh, I got some more to say, but go ahead. Uh, good giveaways coming up. Father's Day, we have a Works Arrow Cart coming up. One of you guys can win. Yeah. We just got word from Greenworks that they're sending out a combo kit for you guys. So someone on Father's Day is going to win that. We still have the Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway. What were you going to say? Well, I was going to talk about the Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway. We got a... Uh, uh, Ego that we're going to be giving away and some other of those tools too. So stay tuned. We when's actually got that? A, huh? When's that? I don't know. I'm just, that's why I said stay tuned. Oh, okay. Um, but we'll get that all down. The ultimate tool bag is getting bigger and better. We've got a lot of things in there. If you're new to Tools in Action, go over to toolsinaction.com and you can on the right hand side you'll see a banner. Click on that. It's going to show you what's in the bag, how to enter, and don't forget go to the Power Tool form. And participate in there, man. We love, I love seeing it. I mean, apparently he doesn't like seeing your work, but I love seeing your work and what I you guys do. do. I um, do. And Travis says that the forum's busier than ever. He's like, he can't even keep up. We got to talk about that, too. What are we going to talk Well, let's, we'll, let's well, talk Well, if he can't keep up, we got to get in needs. there and figure out what he needs. Check it out. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting our sponsors. We definitely, uh, good things are to come, you guys. Check it out. Toes in action. If you 
subscribe above, like us below, and let us know your comments. Actually, we can't say that. that. Yeah, but we can't say that anymore. Why? Because a lot of people watch on mobile and it's not down there. To subscribe? Yeah. Well, it is. It's not down there, though. It's, oh, really? It's not down, yeah. So wherever device you're working on, look for the Go subscribe Go right around button. there somewhere, and you'll see the subscribe. Check it out. Tools in action.